my stamps, three of the new sets, I have three of four. These are brand new for 2023. Okay. And then they have die cuts with them. So people were like, what are these die cuts? What magic can happen with these? And I thought, oh my goodness. Um, it's been a long while since I've die cut something out, but this is my artwork. And, um, and excuse me, I am like wearing comfy sweatpants tonight. So I work from home on Wednesdays. So somebody said, I don't understand the whole die cut thing. Can you explain it to me? So last night I did a quick cutout. I just stamped nothing there. I've added nothing. Hi, Jane Golden. I've added nothing. And I cut these out. So I thought, maybe I'll just do a demo uh, on how to cut these out and then just how to put them in your artwork. But I made these within like 20 minutes. Okay. Uh, I did them real quick. And I was trying to test out, which by the way, my, my stamp manufacturer, when you cut the words out, they're so intricate that I was... I was blown away. Um, I always say this. I am lucky to have licensed artwork with people, but I'm not the best. I'm not the best at stamping. My skill set is limited. I'm definitely not the best die cutter. <laughs> and I have a die cut machine. right there <coughs> excuse me and um by the way excuse me i'm going to have a sip so people were asking me they didn't understand what the dies were they knew what the stamps were and i thought okay i'm going to show you how i did these in minutes i'm not going to do a full on like this is the magic oven. I already cut these out from the other night. So I'll do them real quick. I'll show you the size of the paper, the everything. But I want to show how these work. Uh, I couldn't believe how, I mean, legit. You do need a die cut machine. And when I say machine, I'm cranking that. I don't. I guess there's electric ones. This one is a rather nice one. That's by Spellbinders. It was given to me by them. Um, there are a lot of die cut machines. I wouldn't say run out and go buy something expensive, but this is kind of a game changer for me. If you took part in my um, Pretty in Pink challenge, we did die cut flowers and we punched them out. I wish this, I didn't have my die cuts. So um, look, every one of my stamps so if okay let me show you this okay here's this here we go for example this right here is the stamp that's die cut i haven't done anything to it and then see how the die cut is this big here are all the words and all the little flowers and everything that goes with this die cut it was like it's so I had to do this myself and figure out if this was a possibility. And yes, it is. And I'll show you and I'll just do a quick run through about how I did it and how you can enhance them. And then if we have time, I'll just slap them and do like a quick page. Um, I mean, it's my party and I'll paint if I want to. So um, all of them. Now, when you look at this set right here, for example, I should have shared this with Dare to Be Artsy. So here's the big flower, okay? Here's the medium-sized flower down in this corner, and then the little flower is here. So you're getting this flower, this flower, this flower, and then the stems. Okay, so this is starting to make sense. Um, I literally, and then um, this guy, hello, how cute are you? So, uh, uh, so let me do that with this set. Now, this set, ready? That is right there. This is right there. Uh, okay, this is right there. And then the words, okay, strong is there, beautiful is there. And then these are all the little words. Okay. 
Yeah, name your die cutter. Uh, and then here is this set. Okay. Uh, Bloom, Grace, and then all the words. This remind there was one that reminded me of a tooth. But here's that flower there. Here's the big flower. Um, this flower is here. It made it. I and I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to tackle this to where you are not feeling. I did it two ways. I did the paper first, and then I stamped it, and then I die cut it. And then I decided, well, I'll color the paper, I'll die cut it first, and then I'll stamp it. I will say that all in all, I liked the color the paper, stamp it, and then do the die cutting. Does that make sense? But I want to preface this by saying... Um, I'm not the world's best stamper. I am not the world's best die cutter. So when you see me flimsy around with the machine, but I got it within minutes. It was like, oh, okay. Um, I got it within minutes. It was so amazing. I cut all these out and I thought, oh my God, magic oven time. I haven't touched these. I'll show you how I made the paper. I made the paper. You can do them out of pre-colored paper. Um, so I'm going to do that tonight. And then we'll... I'll see if I can slap these into something and make something. Um, I'm going to use this tropical set that I opened the other day and swatched with my group. I've already gotten my everything is messy. I'm going to move this over. Um, you don't need to see me. I'll do this for right now. Okay. Hi, Carrie. So this is just a piece of water color paper six by nine i'm just using a small piece of papers because i figure the demo should be i don't know kind of small and i already used a couple of colors so let's just try to make this fun well the goal is to make it fun all the time all right i'm gonna water down my watercolors it's my party uh oh shoot well we're gonna use purple for sure because i just put the purple in the thing all right, so I am going to come in here. Oh, go. Okay, could one have picked out a larger paintbrush? No. I like to test Anne to make sure that she knows what I'm doing at all given moments. And she woke up and she's like, by chance, did you put a link to something that I have no clue what I'm doing? And I was like, oh, that's pretty. All right. So I'm just going to make a piece. Oh, ooh, that's pretty. I'm just mixing colors. I actually like the purple. I love this. I'm just making paper. By, by the way, tonight is good TV night. Anybody watch? Um, this is how I know Anne still. So I'm going to show you. Oh, yeah. So this is a tropical set. I love that. That's not even purple. It was I'm making purple because when you put teal and like magenta together, you get a gorgeous purple color. So this is what we're making today. We're just going to do that, okay? Because this is actually what color the purple is right over here. I'm not even. I'm just making purple. I do love this set. Uh, here's purple. You want to see purple? There's the purple. I'm just, but I'm not, I want to make purple, magenta and teal. So I'm going to try to make this as dark as possible. Not a lot of water. I think I did too much water the other day. Because I was, I, I don't want this to take forever. It is scanned of all night, Cecilia. You guys don't know. Bravo is my, yeah, Bravo is my, Bad TV. Oh. Yeah, I do love this set. I don't know why I'm making a well of water everywhere I go. I'm going to try and make this as dark as possible. Okay. So I'm making paper. Cassie just said, I just got a email today about the tag journal that is password protected. I know. Cassie, I did that to see if you were reading my emails. 
I just explained what happened. It is a class that is free if you purchase the tag book. And that was my that was my doing. All right. Nobody's late. I just made a piece of watercolor paper using like magenta and what's that color? And it's like teal blue. Because that's what you get when you make I don't even know what the color is. It's called ocean. It's nice blue. Oh, uh, if you guys want the mystery emails that go out, all you got to do is go to my blog. I do have a blog that I update once or twice a week. Uh, my team uh, helps. Here it is. Here it is. All you got to do is put your email in. So that way, if you want mystery emails for me and you have no idea what they mean, Anne loves to clear those up on a Monday morning when she is just waking up. She loves it. She actually loves to email me at Order 100 and say, what the heck are you doing? It's just my way of keeping Anne on her toes. Yeah, um, every time I update my blog, including something that says is password protected, um, it will notify you. Dumb me. That was because I knew that that church group was meeting on Monday and I had to have everything uploaded. <sighs> By the way, you could let this drip. You could let this do whatever. I'm just going to dry it the way it is. I love to. Now, I'm just waiting for this demo to go as good or as bad as possible. But in the meantime, because by the way, for a living, you don't know this, but I am the Ginsu knife lady of demos. I will be demonstrating at NAMTA and doing image transfers for Jelly Arts. And then I will be going, I'm teaching for Dare to Be Artsy, just so you know. Anne was like, I don't even know how she words it because she tries not to act like I'm bothering her. Wait till you have Anne and I together. You don't want to worry about this. Just dry it as it is. Okay. She was like, by chance, did you release something that I'm not aware of that needs a password? If I had a password to something, Anne pretty much has it because she has every, I think Anne has my checking account, my bank account. She probably holds my social security card. I don't know. And I was like, why would you say that? Well, you sent an email out. Because when I update my blog, if you want to be notified right away, I did that. I didn't know it would do that, though, if I said it was a private thing. It did it. So you, all you're going to do is make a piece of watercolor paper. You can do mixed media paper. You can do copy paper. This doesn't have to be a thing. Oh, Sherry, I'm just going to show you how to die cut the flowers. I'm not even into the part about the journal yet. I don't even know what we're doing tonight. Cherry, I'm just gonna make some paper. Look it. Hey, wonder if I was influenced by anything. My daughter said I looked cute today. I didn't take the border because I'm gonna show you how to die cut these. Okay. I'm just gonna make everybody, I don't always take the border too. I'm just gonna. Dry the back side of this. Why don't you dry the back side? She pulled it back the other way. Okay. Now, now for the stamping part of the demo. Ba -ba. You think Anne is like, oh, here we go. I like this Ranger archival. Now, um, like I said, I've done it two ways. You stamp it out first. Or you cut it first. I like stamping it first and then guessing and then taking all the parts. I'm going to move this because I already, here's my magic oven. I already have some cut out. We're not going to sit and share tonight, are we? Nope. Oh, acrylic block. I had so much fun the other night doing this that it was so crazy. All right. <coughs> Pardon me. What did you forward me a copy of now? Oh, oh she <laughs> she's paying me back. All right. So let's just stamp a bunch of random things. Ba, 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 ba. 
I don't know how much time I would like to stick this in an art journal and be like, this is how I, I want to remember this night. <coughs> I don't think you're supposed to do this or move around a lot, but I like to do it. Okay. Don't worry. It's perfecto. I need to put some words out there as well. Okay. Um, it's my party and I'll cry if I want to. I really like these little flowers. Like this stuff made my world so happy. Okay. Bum, 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 bum. Wait till you get to the part where I demonstrate the die cutting and it's like me because I'm impatient trying to line things up. I'm not really good at being patient about anything. Oh, what is this part that says be beautiful? Let's do beautiful. Is that part of it? I think that's in there. We're just going to fill this up. <coughs> Ooh, pardon. I think another sip of wine is in order. Where do I want to stamp this? Like the other night I was being like so cautious about not wasting paper. So, oh, could you nail that stamp anymore? All right. <sighs> Be beautiful. You are so beautiful. I want to show you. Oh, you know, I could stamp two things at one time. It's so crazy. So I am teaching. I better get my groove back. Mm -mm. Okay. <coughs> oh, oh, oh. Mm. Mm. I moved. Sorry, I was getting a little too antsy. I just refilled all my stamp pads too. Sorry, I got a little excited. I'm a little blurry. Don't matter. Sorry, I can't take a drink. Mm. I guarantee that's the screenshot when they share on my blog. There's me taking a sip. <coughs> Kelly, if you need an acrylic block, here. Come over. I will share them with you. After years of teaching, just so you know, do you know how much, do you know how heavy an acrylic block is in your suitcase try putting like 10 of them in there you might as well just put lead weights in there i love oh oh hello okay i'm not going to cut all these out you guys are going to be bored out of your mind listen watching me die cut stuff but you'll get the idea um oh you know what we'll do we'll do this big one too because i like this one um, yeah, one year I flew, I don't remember where I went. Please don't tell me it was the UK. I had, I had to bring the acrylic blocks because we realized we didn't put it on the materials list. So each artist brought like 10 acrylic blocks and it was kind of like, I just might as well have told Southwest that suitcase weighs 715 pounds of acrylic. Um, when I travel teach, I always take supplies with me because the biggest worry in my life is my something won't show up or that somebody will forget something. So I tend to make sure and I travel with it because I'm so nervous. Because trust me, I have taught before and my surfaces have not shown up. All right. Um, uh -huh, uh -huh. Okay, I did that, I did that, I did that. All right, I mean, that's enough to cut out. I don't know what I'm doing. Well, I feel the need to put 500 things down. Uh, which size acrylic block do you use the most? I bought some, they're kind of small. Is there a size you like for your stamps? Well, here's the thing. This stamp right here, I guess size matters on that one. Um, so that one is five by four, but that's my, my favorite size, which just happens to be a large stamp. Okay. So the answer is, I don't know. Um, I guess my personal favorite, see, I label, I put my name on the end of them. So they'd come home with me. Yeah. Um, I think that's my favorite. Is that my favorite? So let me measure that one. 
four by three. Does that answer that question? All right. I don't really have large, I guess I do have other large ones. So there you go. And I have extra, oh, you know what I'll do? Out of the extra paper, I will cut out this little bad boy because that made me super happy. All right, now I'm going to move to the portion of uh, I didn't really think this through and how can I make this a, okay. Sorry, I didn't think this through. And it's not like my spellbinders thing is small. It's huge. It's like the size of a small, like I'm not going to be able to travel this bad boy. And it either goes, okay, I have to remember it only goes one way. <laughs> All right, I do not want you to judge me for how this demo is. I'll do the best I can, but I'll pull them out of the magic moment. Okay, we're gonna move that over. All right, so um, you have to put like, just read the instructions. Don't, don't copy me. I just know that this worked. <laughs> and I made, see, I made my paper the size because I did like a huge sheet of paper and then I realized I went over and it was so crazy. So let's make this easy first. Oh, whoops. Oh, ah. okay. Let's make this easy first and let's just die cut that. There's no, I'm not lining that up with anything between the two pieces of plastic. Please don't judge me for this if it doesn't work. Okay. Well, okay, here we go. And then you just roller through. All right. I just got so many questions, and then I do this. Watch. I lift it up. I hope I put it the right way. Say a little prayer for me. They make all sorts of little funky tools to get stuff out of. I don't have them. I just have fingernails. Okay. Okay, ready? Look at that. Okay, my Band-Aid needs to come off because I do. Sorry, this Band-Aid. Oh. Okay. Band-Aid goes away. All right. Do you see that? Uh, okay, Anne, they sell magnetic bases. Yes. Do I recommend that? Yes. Uh, Spellbinders, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna come in here on the camera. I like to make eye contact. Spellbinders sent me this machine. So um, I'm not really good at describing anything, but they make metal that would, they've come so far. I'm just not one of those people. Okay, and I like to struggle with everything. It's just, it's how I live my life. It's like, yeah, do you not want to have, yeah. So, okay, so then I just line this up. Okay, it just lines up. You ready? Oh, it just makes, and by the way, I have other die cuts that go with my older stamps, but guess who didn't know about it because she didn't do it. And my stamp company said, we didn't want to make you do anything you don't do. Okay, ready? Okay, it's really not this hard. Oh, you could tape it down with washi tape. Yeah, I don't, Connie. I know you guys were gonna come up with 8,005 tips. Okay, ready? And so then I just take this out. I literally was trying the machine and thought it went back and forth. <laughs> and I want the little magnetic holders to hold my dies down. Okay, I'm good with this. I'm totally fine with this. All right. Is anybody getting nervous because I'm not being perfect? I just, I don't believe in the easy way. I like to complicate things. <laughs> I knew you were all going to come up with like 8,000 tips to make this easier. And I was laughing because, by the way, I am sharing a room with my friend who is owner of Dare to Be Artsy. And this is the word, so I just want you to see how I rack this up. Okay, so we are laughing because I said to her, you realize on Wednesday I'm going to do a demo. She's traveling right now. Sometimes it makes that noise. It's just a piece of paper, and I made the paper. Oh, I hope that I put the die cut the right way. Yeah, look at this. Look at this. Hi. 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 Okay, put that to the side. How many more of these do you want me to do? Just keep going. Okay, it's 6.04. Do you want something where I try to put this together and make it look like something? Put that aside. Oh, by the way, this, every time I go through here, should be in here 
so that I cut out one of those snazzy, jazzy guys. Okay, so you can cut out more. Oh, I could be cutting all of these at one time and saving a boatload of time, but I don't believe in that. I believe I'm just struggling the whole way. Uh, okay, I got to make sure I got this right. I feel like this one. And a little bit, I was like, oh, goodness, I have to twist this around. I have to twist this around. So sometimes I had to look. I don't even know if this is the right one. Hold on. I got to go bloom with grace. Ba, ba, da, da, da. I think it is. Okay. It is. And then I would just match up what the flat side is. Yeah. See, I could be. Yep. There it is. See, there it is. Now, technically, I could probably be rolling these. I know there's 10,000 people right now with an opinion going, I don't understand why she's not cutting like all seven of them out at the same time. I don't work that way. My brain works one way. Okay, so then I just do this and I go twisty wisty and I go, oh, no, that doesn't work. Oh, that does. No, that doesn't work. I know. I know you're screaming at me right now. Oh, I got to look at the picture. Yeah, I know. Oh, that looks like it works. Okay. Do, do. So I don't want to give recommendation on die cutters. You guys can all talk about that situation on your own amongst yourself or just rec make a recommendation. I think this is a very large machine. It's um, a very good. Oh, that's the way it goes. Okay, so I'm going to try and do three at one time. Uno, dos, tres, which is my name. Okay, uno, dos, and tres. Um, I know there's Sizzix, there's Cricut, there's, oh, gal, I just saw it on HSN. Come on, help me. Um, help me, G. Uh, this is, I'm just cranking this. Yeah, this, mine is big. Mine will fit. Oh, and it comes, like, they sent me, oh, lots of good shit. Oh, sorry, lots of good stuff. All right, do you get it? Do you look at, are you looking? Gemini, go ahead. Uh, listen, I'm not working for anybody. I now I'm gonna probably leave. Um, look, okay. So do you see? Do you see? And I made this big shot. Go ahead. Tim Holtz has one. Oh, whoops! I forgot. I keep cutting out these bad boys. See, these make me happy. Oh, uh, I would be cutting these out of black paper. This is like the best thing. Okay, impress. Yeah. See, I'm not. This is Spellbinders. I am not affiliate. Oh, let me let me do another like one of these. Just I am not endorsing. I just I, okay. I'm just oh beautiful. You are. Let's do beautiful and grace at the same time. This one looks like a tooth, and that's the B. Vagabond, you still sell it? Don't know. Okay. Yeah, you guys. I I. I I don't want to lead anybody down the path. Of, oh, wait a minute. This, is this beautiful? Oh, yeah. Oh, I've never cut this word out. Is that beautiful? Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. I'm so nervous. There's, like, lots to think about in this one. Oh, God. This is making me, like, want to shake. All right. That's okay. I can do this. That's why. Okay. Don't. Just lay it down. I know people are like, they, put, make, they make it magnetic. Okay. I feel like I'm starting the model T. I have to say, this is not, you have to, oh, you are so beautiful to me. Okay, just give me a minute. I need to work through that. I didn't cut that one out. Yeah, I'm just not. All right, uh, did I give you enough? Oh, well, let's do big flower. And then you start it over. I've had two sips of wine, if anybody's wondering. If you've never, is anybody first time listening and wondering what is she doing? I don't normally do this. I don't do the magic oven. I don't. But I had so many questions about why would I want to die with your stamps? Why would I want to die? You don't want to die. You just want to, you just want to have fun. So do you guys have these machines? I listen. I also don't want to act like this all has to be perfect, but it does have to be slightly lined up. So okay, there we go. It's usually pretty simple. I just have the attention span of a gnat and and now they make it where it's magnetic. I saw it. 
I don't have any of that business shenanigans. I think there's like, I have lots of dyes. Oh, oh, eh, who cares? Uh-oh. Oh. Okay. I even think I lost a screw in this thing, but it still works, so. Closes up like a 400 pound suitcase and goes away. Okay, there you go. Okay, there you go. Now, I'm gonna stop cutting, right? Do we have everything? Just one more. Yeah, um, Sue is asking for first time users if what you, you recommend. Um, I can't tell you that one. Let's do grace and then I'm done because I love the word grace. Okay. I just love, this is the thing about me and demonstrating. If I couldn't do, uh -oh. oh, wait a minute. Why do I feel like that's the wrong one? Uh, just so you're clear too, each of these sets has them all like traced out. Oh, that, that's the wrong word. Well, that's why. Okay. So you just, you got to be honest. If you flip them over, Okay, if you flip them over, it shows where everything cuts out. Okay, so don't be mad at me when I'm trying to do this. I have, oh, it's a size factor. I'm not gonna say anything, Sue. I'm trying to be good. All right, do you guys still want me to try in 15 minutes to try to do something that would resemble a something? By the way, I would I could do a postcard or a card in five seconds, but let's just let's just mm. This is too big, by the way. Mine is up in the, don't, don't tell, don't tell, uh, oh, perfecto. I did it. Okay. I did it. I did it. All right. Uh, let me put this away. I still have more paper. I could have cut a few more things out on that, but I don't care. So let me just fold y'all up. Okay. You do want me to try to do something that resembles a something. So let's, I mean, this is so easy. It, I do have a place for it. It has a home. All right. Uh, let me just get rid of everything that is here. Okay. Uh, I did have a magic oven. I'm just going to move all the stamps over, all the die cuts over. I can clean this messy up later. And then let's do something. Please do a project. She says, please do something. I don't want to have wasted 15 minutes of this. Okay. Wait. Oh, here's the problem. Yeah, I'll find it later. Did somebody remind me? I dropped one. My floor is brown. It's a little hard to find them. So I had to do like the whole, I'll do something quick, you guys. I promise. Where'd my book go? There it is. Okay. You get the idea. Oh, I found it. Found it. Found it. They cling around. All right. Please do a project. All right. Here we go. Let's do something. Anybody nervous? Please do a project. All right. I wonder what is being recorded at the moment. Let's record this. Uh, da, 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 da. I mean. Yeah. And by the way, I'm not endorsing a single machine. I don't know customer service. Check things out. I don't believe in the whole electronics thing. I'm not a big like, okay, it needs to be battery operated. Uh, you can just look at, I was fine by just cranking her through. All right. Nothing was, nothing went wrong. Okay. Now, I mean, relatively nothing went wrong. Uh, okay. So I'm going to switch cameras. No. Hello. Sun is going down. Here's the thing about them that I feel like this. These are just plain. Wait till I add white white to them just all right should i just use that same set of i'm going to try and just make this easy peasy light and squeezy i always like to show and by the way i would probably make a card at this point but i have enough here to make whatever all right let's just wet this down let's drop some color in oh, wet our watercolors down too Oh, I love when we, it's like just experimenting. All right. This is it. This is the fun part. All right. So I'm going to just, oh, I don't know. 
I'm mixing all my colors, so. Yes, oh, golly. See, Mother Nature is like, can't make up her mind today, and she is really getting to me. All right. We don't need to go crazy as I go crazy while I'm going crazy. All right. Oh, yeah. So I'm not going to, it's not going to be like, just wanted to keep it easy. Easy breezy. Oh, really? I mean, really? You're downpouring two seconds ago, and now you're just. All right, we got us a nice, happy field of. We're getting recommendations. Thank you. I uh, appreciate you guys uh, just being open and honest about. I, I'm not, I just, no, you know, I might come from NAFTA and be, uh, you know, fully endorsed and have an affiliate with a die cutting company when I come back. Not kidding. You never know. Oh my God, I have such a funny story. Sherry just said, how did I get rid of the toads? I didn't, they walked away. I've been three days clear of toads. Do you guys remember my horse saga with my neighbor? You guys wanna talk while I'm watching paint dry? Watercolors, I went wet on wet, very soft. In fact, if you have too much water, just pull it back very soft. The toads, I have had three days. Uh, that was three days of sun. I now have polywogs in my front yard that the teachers are picking up because I'm pumping water out and I'm supporting our local teachers. They're welcome to stop by. I put a post on my local and they're stopping by. Okay, do you guys remember my horse situation with my new neighbor that had moved in? Oh, I hope he doesn't tune in. Um, I don't think he does. So could somebody just, if you don't want to hear the horse story. Uh oh, what was this? What did I just, oh, well, we'll cover that up. Okay, so do you see just some watercolors? So I am supporting the local teachers because somebody said teachers would love them. So I asked them to bring a net and a little jar and they get to fill them up. I am, I'm not, that water's not disappearing. So here is the story of a man named Brady. Okay, no. So I've lived in my home since 1996. Okay, I should make eye contact on this. Okay, I'm gonna dry this. We're gonna come up with something. I've had lovely neighbors. I live in a horse community. I live, uh, even though I live in San Diego County, I live on property and everybody has horses around me, not me. I am not that person. However, I had new neighbors who moved in a year and a half ago, not three years ago, not 47 years ago, I would say like a year and a half ago. And they, before they met, um, before they met me, uh, the new the neighbors before I have had great relationships and they said to me, hey, we're we're selling our house. Oh, my best to you. I'm going to miss you guys. I love you guys. And then they said, hey, we have new neighbor. You're going to have new neighbors. It's, you know, they have three horses. How are you with that? I'm like, well, I don't care. I mean, it's your property. Do what you want. And there are setbacks and you are not supposed to like um, go. I'm going to do this. I, I just feel like talking to you guys. So, um, look, we have flowers, right? Are you guys particular? Do you want like different flowers? Oh, maybe we should do this guy because I feel like she pretty. So, oh, I don't want to go all big. I just want, anyway. Hey, Linda. So, a year and a half ago, I get a new neighbor and I'm going to try and not be distracted if you guys are new to listening to me um and um a little bit older i'm not gonna give ages i'm gonna i'm gonna this is a nice way to add definition okay a little bit of ink 
So I get these neighbors and they have these horses and they said, we have three horses. They're older. They don't. Okay. We're, we're retired. Okay. Lovely. Nice to meet you. I won't give their names. It rhymes with sob and smeary. No. Uh, <laughs> And they're very nice. I meet the wife and I say, hey, I have a lot of citrus. Oh, I hook them up uh, for chickens. Everything started out fine and dandy. Well, I have vegetation that goes all the way around my property. All the way around my property. And they were aware of it. And they said, oh, we'll be very careful with our horses. Well, we don't think they'll eat the vegetation. And so right away, the horses eat the vegetation. And there is a thing called a setback when you have, I'm going to get a black pen. When you have horses and livestock around my neighborhood, you have to have a setback, 10, 12, 15 feet, depending on how many horses, blah, 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 blah. And so I'm not going to make a big deal until all of my landscaping along the fence line started to disappear. And I don't want to make enemies because I like people. I'm just going to... So some of you guys remember this story, and I had to call the county, uh, the gentleman who does not believe that women, I think, have a place in this community uh, because he wanted to speak to my husband. I don't have one of them. Um, and so um, one morning on Father's Day, you know, and I've been dealing with the wife, and I was like, okay, this is the deal. You have to have a setback. Like, they can't continue. I even taped them because I was like, hey, they're literally eating. Like, hi, I'm leaving for Garth Brooks. Oh, by the way, your horses are out eating my vegetation. So long story short, we are now not friendly. Uh, the, the, the husband on Father's Day, when my parents, my father was here at 550 in the morning, comes and knocks on my door, pounds on my door. And uh, because now, uh, you know, he thinks, whatever, he thinks that I, I have a, I'm just adding details with a white pen, by the way, a white paint pen. I just thought this would be pretty because it's so, so I have hot wire up because that's what you do in the country. You should put hot wire up and the horse will touch it and I'll never touch it again. It doesn't hurt the horses. And I said to them several times, I'm going to invest in it because if you don't have a setback and um, so he pounded on my door and we haven't been friendly. Uh, at all. Um, but they now have some ropes up and it seems we're good. Well, he got new neighbors and he called, he, the other day, you know, being he doesn't like me very much. Am I still alive? Yes. Yeah. Um, the other day I'm outside checking on my artichoke and he goes, hey, neighbor. Like, keep in mind, I had to walk outside and say to him, do not, uh, first off, do not ever knock on my door at 5.50 in the morning on a Sunday unless you're harmed, hurt, or something major is going on. And his wife was like, I'm so sorry. So the other day, I'm outside and he was like, hey, neighbor. I'm like, I'm like this. Um, do you know why your yard is flooding in the front? I'm like 27 inches of rain <laughs> since uh, the beginning of January. We don't get six inches of rain the whole year. And so he was like, well, he was being very nice. It's because the new neighbor on his side, or so he claims, uh, there we go. Blah, blah, blah. Did something to uh, reroute the water. Well, he didn't. He didn't. I looked. I was like, no, I, I don't think that has to do with me. And I don't want to be involved in anything. And he was like, no, uh, you're going to want. So he's now taking pictures. He was like, do you have a number at the county? Because we called the county on him. And he was like, you know, could you give me the name of the, I was like, no, I just called the county. I don't have people. I don't, 
I'm not into this business. Anyway, long story short, we're now besties, uh, but I want nothing to do. And I have to now say to him, like, I don't want, no, uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. Uh, I am not uh, in the business of upsetting the new neighbors. <laughs> so uh, that's my story. That's my update. We're besties now. But uh, the next time he pop he actually came over when I wasn't here and he talked to one of my friends who was here and said, well, your, new your neighbor was taking all these photos and wanted to know what your thoughts were. And I was like, my thoughts are I want nothing to do because I've been in this neighborhood for a thousand years, I don't want to, I'm not in, I'm not in. So now I'm going to probably have to, but his wife, I know, I did notice his wife was gone for the weekend. So I feel like he's got a lot of time on his hands and it seems like upsetting. It seems like upsetting people is, is name the name. but I don't want to be part of it. So there's my update. All right. Uh, so I'm just going to add some greenery. Uh, I was trying to like, I was laughing so hard because I was like, oh my God, I think he's talking to me. And I don't know why he'd be talking to me because we don't talk. <laughs> the only thing he's ever done with me is grunted at me. It's so funny. He's only grunted at me, but now we're besties. Okay, we got to go draw some grass in here. You got to draw. Oh, do we need a leaf or something? I always say we're going to be done in a half an hour. Yeah, we're we're good friends now. I swear when he said, hey, neighbor, I was like, I don't want to be drawn into anything. I, not to mention, I was just like, no, I, I'm not agreeing with you. He was like, do you know why the rain is ponding up? I'm like, because we've had 27 inches of rain. That's why. All right. I promise you a project. Yeah, I'm gonna get a project. We're gonna glue this down. I just want to say, like, I don't know, like, I could add so many more details, but I won't for right now. I will in a second. I will. It's only 627. So I've got five minutes. Hold on, I gotta. It's not. So there's my horse update. Uh, when you live in the country, it's just kind of what happens. How am I going to get that tape out? We'll figure it out. I'm not gluing it too. I mean, I literally live on like an acre and a half. Like I don't, I just mind my own business too. I don't want to be in anybody's stuff. But if you're eating all my vegetation that has been there for years, I've been here, like I said, uh, this is not my first rodeo. I've been here a long time. So is anybody, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna keep going, okay, going there. Ooh, I don't know where that's coming out. Well, it's coming out there now. Yeah, you know what I was thinking? I was like, oh, your wife isn't here to like say, stop bothering the neighborhood. But also he did tell me he had problems with the other neighbors that he lived with and I was like, or lived by. And I was like, well, seems like maybe you're, I've actually liked all my neighbors. I share, I share crops with them. I mean, when I say crops, like, um, are we liking the be strong thing? I just, I wish I had more of the green ivy, but you know what? I don't know. Purple ivy could be coming out of here because it's purple. Wouldn't this be cute if it was like a card? Now, I do have to get that tape out of there. We'll, we'll deal with that later. I mean, I'm not even. What do you think? I'm just, at this point, I'm just like now, just gluing stuff down. I'm not much of a crafty, crafty kind of gal, but I love stuff like these. All right, one, two, three, four, five, five of those, three, be strong. I'm going to give this, you know what? Be strong. Oh, Linda. Linda. 
Did you not see my demo? I did not fussy cut out a bit. I used my new dies. I'm just, um, this is, this is the one, this is the die that looks like a tooth, which is funny because um, she's going to kill me if I say this. One of the dies in the company for Dare to, uh, Dare to Be Arity uh, is a lighthouse. And the lighthouse looks amazing when it's stamped. And it's great. It's so funny. But her daughters and I were laughing because just the die alone of a lighthouse, it looks kind of nasty. Be strong. Also, I never like when a man says, can I talk to your husband? What, am I not able to make a decision because I'm female? All right. You asked for a demo. You got a demo. It is 6.30. It is, guess what? Remove the tape time. We just have to be careful because now I have a flower that is, uh oh, I gotta move that flower over because it's actually like sticking out of the book, which is fine. Look at that. I didn't think this demo part would happen. I just want you to know that you don't have to. Now, I think those little would look cuter if they were all purple but or all black, but yeah, I just. Okay, I want you to encourage you to make your own paper, number one. Number two, oh, don't ever say number two. Um, and by the way, I would probably do this. Oh, oh, come on. You know, my stamps are meant for you to play. Like. Yep, so there's my horse update. Loving my neighbor who is like now, he's my best friend. He loves me. He loves me until the next time he pops over and I say, please stop taking pictures on my property as the teachers are stopping over to get pollywogs out of my. Okay, we are popping. All right. I have, I'm going to take these all to the trade show with me. So somebody asked, did I fussy cut those all? No. Yeah, I one time had an electrician who showed up to my house. So this is funny. Um, by the way, I will share a photo. This was 15 minutes. And can you imagine a card or a postcard? I, I'm just telling you, don't get wrapped up in the minu uh, uh, minutia. I um, made the paper. I stamped out the Im stamped the images. I cut them with my dies. This will clean up in 15 minutes. I'll take a picture of what my work surface looks like. I feel like I need a couple of more of the, um, ew, I feel like I need another one, but I do. I decided. Um, I decided I needed this. I just need this guy to come out down here so the purple is pulled over there. Okay. Sometimes it's about balance. Um, yes, I could do leaves and all that other stuff, but I don't feel like them. So I just want you to know spring is a time of renewal and obviously I'm renewing. <clears throat> Sorry, I can't get glue out of this thing. Spring is a time to renew a relationship with my neighbor who is cranky. I hope, I hope his wife does not suddenly start tuning in. That would be horrible. I don't think they don't know my name. That makes me happier because sometimes it's called balance and I need to balance the color over there. All right, even though I took and made it a different number in quantity. Okay, that makes me happier. So what did we learn tonight? We learned that Tracy has dyes and know how to use them. Um, be strong. And I know a lot of you have like, the machines to make everything gluey and sticky. I just glue stuff down. I didn't add any details to anything. Um, and I could have uh, everything around. Like I thought in the middle of these flowers right here, like these look so much like African violets, make them yellow. Look at this. That would be pretty with a yellow middle. So I'm going to take all these to the show. Uh, I made my own paper. You can use pattern paper. And then I stamped 
and really not a lot of details are needed because it's all in the stamp. Thank you.